Um, but at the same time, what, what you're indicating too there about Southern planters, slaveholders, kind of the, the Southern mind frame is, um, it's not that parochial, we're focused on the plantation. You're very much addressing that new, new scholarship that says, we have to think of planters as capitalists, that they're running their plantation in a, I mean, not in an industrial fashion, but very similar to a kind of factory labor um, organization that they're very much in, in, aware of the global market. And how does that change if we, if we think about planters that way, how does that change our thinking about the South, the coming of the Civil War and this kind of, these kind of global visions that Southerners have? Yeah, it's a good big question. Um, I think the uh, the thesis that uh, Southern planters were these backward looking um, uh, romantic uh, sort of holdovers from a bygone era, that's I, I, that's been pretty effectively overturned. So I'm drawing on a lot of really great scholarship on the, the South, its political economy, its, some of its capitalist visions. Um, and trying to argue or trying to, to work with that, that literature and think about the ways that it influenced Southerners' visions of the West um, and what, what they were trying to do with their Western expansionist agenda, which was build railroads um, to the Pacific. Um, plantation slavery and, and modern technology were not at all incompatible. In fact, they were, uh, they were handmaidens. Um, I think if the South had won its independence, or at least if the Confederacy had won its independence, it would have ranked among the in top four most industrial advanced nations in the world. I mean, no European country had more track mileage than the slave states. Um, you know, it, they, they didn't build quite as extensively as the industrial Northeast, but uh, again, it wasn't this sort of um, agricultural backwater. And, and Southerners meant business when they talked about sort of their modern, modern visions. Yeah, I, I highlighted Athens, Georgia was the most industrialized city in the state for a while. And mm. it, it's those kinds of conversations that we really need to have more of, I think, to kind of um, yeah. think of yeah. industrialist, globalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's, so, so we as scholars know this um, because other great scholars have been saying it for a number of years now, but how do we communicate it to students? That's, that's another question altogether, because I think a lot of people, their, their vision of the South or their idea of the South is still gone with the wind. Um, it, it, doesn't, it, 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 it doesn't really have room for, um, for the sort of fiercely modern, modernistic and inquisitive um, slaveholder.